Hi friends, welcome to Ideas at Home. Two years back, I have posted a video in my channel about a mixy accident that I had faced. I got lot of response in that video, commenting that many of you facing such similar incidents. Since then, I wanted to buy a mixer grinder with a proper locking system which ensures safety while operating. Yes, finally I found it. It is Panasonic Monster Super Mixer Grinder. All models of Panasonic Mixer Grinders has got double safety locking system. The model number is AE475. It has got 750 watt and an RPM of 23,000 which makes it really powerful. It has got a copper wound motor which makes it durable and it has a motor warranty of 5 years. All other parts of the Mixi has got 2 years of warranty. This Mixi has got ISI marking. The jars have got stainless steel 304 quality wide blades. They have long lasting polycarbonate lids. As this is an original product, it is written on the box that it is manufactured by Panasonic Appliances. The MRP written is 11,695. I have bought it from a home appliance shop for about rupees 9000. The product comes well packed. This particular model has got 4 jars. The other smallest chutney jar or the super jar. The grinding jar which is the mill jar. Next is the blender plus jar and the polycarbonate blender jar or the juicer jar. The motor comes in variety of colors. Mine is red. The chutney jar is provided with two additional lids. Let's see the jars in detail. This is the super jar. Now I have put the dome lid. The low dome lid is for blending and batter grinding. We have to turn the jar in clockwise direction in order to lock the jar. The picture to indicate the proper locking is shown on the jar itself. When the jar is properly locked, this vertical line and the down arrow will come in the same line. It has got piano type press button which is also very convenient. The first is the off button, next is the pulse button and the next is 1, 2 and 3 speed buttons. The mixie has got a normal 5 amps plug. It has good cord length as well which is very convenient you have to press this button to open the lid of the jar you can see that the stainless steel quality of the jar is very good the super jar has got three lids this is the chutney lid with pusher attachment this attachment is very useful while grinding you don't have to open it and mix with the spoon you just have to rotate the handle like this and all the residue on the upper part of the lid will go down next lid is the spice grinding lid which is a flat one next is the mill jar which is good for both dry and wet grinding which has got great grinding power this is the stainless steel blender plus jar which is good for blending, whipping and also for making juice. Next is the polycarbonate blender jar with filter unit. The jar and the lid is made of very good quality plastic. There is an opening given on the lid. Uh, you can also pour water through this lid and uh, there is an opening uh, for pouring the juice as well. I'll be showing the purpose of all these jars later in this video. It has also got a pusher attachment which is for pushing the fruits or the vegetables inside. This is the whipping plate for beating egg, whipping cream etc. There is a button underneath the motor which is a circuit breaker system which protects the motor from failure due to overloading. If the mixie is overloaded and the mixie will stop automatically, what you have to do is that you have to uh, remove the excess um, content from the jar and press this button. Then the mixie will start working again perfectly. An instruction manual is also provided with the mixie. It has got all the warranty details and the details of all the authorized service centers of Panasonic mixie. 
The spare parts of this Panasonic Mixi is also available in these service centers. All the using and cleaning instructions are also given clearly in this booklet. Now let's try some recipes in this mixi. In the chutney jar I have taken little bit of shredded coconut, small onion, chilli powder and salt to make a coarse mixture. Here I am using the chutney lid with pusher attachment. I have locked the lid in the jar and now I am going to lock the jar in the mixi. It is properly locked now. Now as I need a coarse uh, mixture, I am just giving 2-3 to three pulses. I am pressing the second pulse button 2-3 to three times. You can also hear the noise level of this mixie. It is moderate. The pusher attachment of uh, this lid is very useful and innovative. When you rotate this, the coconut mix that is stuck on the top of the lid comes down. You don't need to open it and use a spoon to take it down. Now I am going to open the lid. You can see that I got the uh, coconut mix in perfect texture. Now I am going to use the dome lid which has got a opening on the top and we are going to make this coconut mix into a fine paste adding little water. I have opened the small opening at the top and I am adding water. Now I am going to close the small opening and grind it into a fine paste. Now I have opened the lid and you can see that we have got a fine coconut paste which can be used for making fish curry. Now let's see the safety operation of this mixi. The mixi has got a double locking system. If no jar is kept in the mixi, even though the main plug is on, the mixi won't work if you press the button. Now I have placed the jar and uh, the jar lid is also locked. Now if we press the button, it will work. Another important feature is that if the jar lid is not closed properly by mistake, then also if we press the button, the mixi won't work only if the lock on the lid and also the lock on the jar is perfectly locked only then it the mixi will work only panasonic has got this safety double locking system which ensures safety in the kitchen and avoid accidents now coming back to recipes i'm going to grind five almonds in this small mixi jar now I am using the spice grinding lid which is good for dry grinding. Now I am opening the lid, pressing the button. You can see that we have got powdered almond. Next I have tried making cashew paste in this chutney jar. I got the cashew paste in good consistency. I have also chopped small onion, garlic and chilli mix in the chutney jar which came out perfectly well. Next I am going to make jeera powder with raw jeera. I have added the raw jeera into the chutney jar and use the spice grinding lid. Now I am opening the lid and I have got uh, the jeera powder. Next I am going to grind soaked urad dal for making idli dosha batter. I have used 1 cup of soaked urad dal in the mill jar and closing with the lid. Now I have locked the lid and I am going to grind it. First I am going to pulse it without water 2-3 to three times and then open the lid and pour the required amount of water and grind it into a fine paste
after grinding i am opening the lid pressing the button you can see that i've got a perfect urad dal paste i'm using the spatula that is provided with the mixi i have also tried making fine paste of tomato and onion for making tomato chutney in the milk jar next i am going to grind pre soaked rice in the stainless steel blender jar you can also use the milk jar for grinding the rice as i have little more quantity i am using the bigger 1.5 liter stainless steel blender jar first you have to press the pulse button 2 to 3 times and then add the required amount of water and then grind using the 1 to 3 speed buttons another tip is to use cold water while grinding in the mixi which will give a smooth batter and make the grinding process very easy now i have opened the lid and you can see that the batter is perfectly ready you can mix this batter with the urad dal mix that we have uh, previously made and mix well and keep for fermentation next i am going to make watermelon juice in the blender jar i have added the watermelon pieces sugar and little water and grinding you can also pour water in the small opening that is given in the lid the lid of this jar and the lids of super jar are not interchangeable all other lids can be used interchangeably watermelon juice is ready and we are going to sieve it through a strainer the watermelon juice is perfectly ready to be served i have also made a lime juice in this blender jar now i am going to extract coconut milk using the filter unit in the blender jar i am adding 6 to 7 spoons of shredded coconut inside the filter unit to make the coconut milk after adding the coconut we have to press the pulse button for 2 to 3 times and then add the required amount of water you can also add water through the small opening on the lid of this jar and now use the 2 and 3 speeds until coconut milk get starts extracting and you can see that through the jar now i am going to pour the extracted first coconut milk into this glass this is thick coconut milk now you have to add little more water into the jar and extract the second coconut milk which will be little bit lighter than the first now the second extracted coconut milk is also poured out you can see the two glasses first is the thick coconut milk and the second is the little more lighter coconut milk you can also see the residue of the coconut inside the filter unit in the same way i have extracted thick tamarind paste also using this filter unit of the blender jar when you pour out the tamarind uh, paste it will be little bit lighter but you will get the thick paste inside the filter unit you can see that now we have got thick tamarind paste you can store this in the refrigerator or in the freezer and use it when needed next i am going to chop vegetables in the mill jar i have cut one medium size carrot and one small beetroot into cubes and i have added it inside the mill jar now i have closed the lid and i am pulsing it 4 to 5 times in the mill jar now i have opened the lid and you can see that i have got a perfectly chopped veggies that is beetroot and carrot you can also chop onions in this way it is extremely useful
you can interchange the blade of the three bigger jars using the downward portion of the spatula provided with the mixie the whipping plate can also be used in the two bigger jars but you should not remove the blade of the super jar or the chutney jar so far i have tried variety of recipes in this mixer grinder and i am really impressed with this performance it is really a good quality mixer grinder and it is very safe to use too hope this review was useful for you thanks for watching